Okay, it's been a while, but I got my video camera up and running again, and for my two cents today, it is the video card buying experience. Now, if you're going to buy one for a PC, you need to know a couple things. There are words like uh, VGA, uh, PCI Express that you should know. Now, I went and bought this card thinking, yeah, it's gray, HD, TV ready. I need an nice video cable to hook to my TV. So it was good. Get it in the mail. Amazon's a good place to get it from. And this is what I got. Looks great. It was brand new. No, I spent around 30 bucks instead of hundreds. Had my S video cable, the HDMI, all the different attachments from your monitor to your TV to your Super TV. But here's the thing. If you notice right here towards the top, this is the thing that distinguishes all video cards alike. This would not fit in because this is just not what I needed. I needed a separation here and here. What I needed was a VGA card. So, what is the difference between AGP, PCI Express? Well, here you go. Notice the bottoms right here. This is PCI Express. Check the bottom of your card that you own now after you shut down and look at this notice that difference now we'll move down that's a 16 PCI Express I move down to another one and you notice the difference so from that the width to that the width and that's a four times PCI Express then we move down and this is what I need standard AGP notice the difference. This has three separations. This other one had smaller, and the top one is full together. So, the difference is clear, and that's standard AGP. And then we move down to normal PCI. Okay. This is what a normal PCI card looks like. Now, on average, people need a standard AGP. For your older ones, I'm thinking this is what most of you would need. The more higher end PCs, fine. But, if you need it for a laptop... Now, if you have a laptop, this is called a smart card. This is for your TV. It goes on Amazon for about, well... 20 to 40 dollars depending on where you can find it and what it does is uh, the PCI slot it's basically the only way to expand anything on your laptop because they don't really make it so you can pop it open if you notice it has a cable wire uh, the S video the attachments so you can go from S video to the regular cable the red white and yellow cables for audio video that you're so familiar with but it plugs right in even as an antenna for picking up HD signals but as you can see you can wire everything right to your laptop from it and you can pick up TV so if you want to get video through an S video cable and you don't have one on your laptop that's a good way to go if you don't have it for your computer however your regular PC then it's a little different. I mean you can get external video cards like this uh, sometimes they're costly but they basically hook up and give you video capability and then you can make more transfers but you know, the simple part is is if you want a video card for your laptop this would be the one to go forty dollars on Amazon you don't have to mess around with any extra wires or anything and that, that's not a bad deal it's usually seventy to hundreds on a Best Buy and that's about it for laptops but as I explained for the PC it's pretty cut and dry just make sure you have the right part but that concludes our tutorial and a quick rundown of PC and laptop video upgrading and getting the best you can for the lowest price. Amazon Egghead or Tiger Direct. Alright, take care.